Hi everybody, it's Heather from Eastern Washington. Sorry about the background noise, but every time I try to start this video, like someone comes by with a huge diesel truck or something like that. So, anyway, on with the video. Today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own essential oil, otherwise known as Thieves Oil. Now, Thieves Oil is not like tea tree oil or rosemary oil or anything like that or lavender oil where it's just kind of derived straight from nature. Um, thieves oil is made by combining other natural essential oils together. And the story about thieves oil is way, way back during the plagues that struck um, Europe centuries and centuries ago. There was a group of thieves who also were very good and knowledgeable in oils and how they protect and help cure and things like that. How they support the immune system. So they... These, uh, these four thieves sat down and they created a thieves oil, um, which protected them from the plague while they went in and stole from people who were dying. Okay, not the most morale used from it, but apparently these thieves were caught, and in a barter to decrease their sentence, they handed over the recipe for their thieves oil to the government. And this is what we come to know um, today as thieves oil and that's why it's called thieves oil because it was made by a group of thieves who stole from dying people but with that aside um, thieves oil is brilliant it's been tested it's been studied and it's been known to have great properties and great uses um, I've used not only thieves oils but other essential oils but I've used thieves oils in thieves oil in particular for the last two years I put one little dab on my kids when they've gone out around other kids or, or been around sick people I feel like a spider's calling on me anyway um, I've also used it in my diffuser for the last two years and during these times especially the last couple years with all these really bad viruses that are been have been unresponsive to antibac uh, to um, uh, medication. We'll just say medication because the word escaped me. Um, and during these times of really horrendous uh, uh, flus and viruses and people getting sick, not just for days, but for weeks or months at a time. People all around us were getting sick. My kids never got sick. They got maybe a cold um, a couple times in the past year. But I really, really believe that me using the thieves oil on them religiously helped protect them in getting really, really nasty sick. Um, so yeah, that's my personal story. Uh, anyway, this is what you're going to need to make your own thieves oil. And by the way, this is an actual bottle of thieves oil. Um, I don't sell, I know this is from Young Living, but I don't sell them. I don't even buy from them anymore. This is just what I had left over from when I purchased some oils from them. That's how I got started in learning about essential oils. They are a good company, but they're expensive, but still. Now, in order to create the thieves oil, you are going to need five essential oils. The ones that you will need are clove oil, lemon oil, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus oil, and rosemary oil. Now, what do these things do individually, you ask? Well, I can tell you because I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget even though I knew this stuff. When I make a video, my brain just shuts down. Anyway, I keep looking over there because I know my daughter's around the corner. She's, oh, my son is. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, the clove oil, what that does, it's, uh, it helps against bacteria. It's an antifungal, antiseptic, antiviral. It's also an aphrodisiac, but we're not talking about that right now. <laughs> it helps uh, with respiratory, respiratory problems like cold, uh, colds, coughs, sinus problems, asthma, and even tuberculosis. Lemon oil, not only does the scent alone, it's proven to make you happier and boost your mood, which is great. Um, but it also, most lemon oil um, is... Uh, made up of a powerful antioxidant. Um, it's also very good for your skin. Now cinnamon bark, it helps with your GI tract and GI problems. It helps your appetite. It helps with GI infections caused by parasites. Um, it helps with menstrual cramps. Uh, it also helps with colds and influenza. Eucalyptus oil is highly effective for respiratory issues as well, like asthma, bronchitis, COPD, 
pneumonia, also tuberculosis. Um, it's been proven to help asthma by helping dilate blood vessels, um, allowing more oxygen to get into the lungs. Rosemary. Um, rosemary itself um, is great for iron and calcium and vitamin B6, but it's also good for muscle pain. It's good for your memory. It, it's a natural uh, immune booster. And here's, an, see this is what I'm telling you. Here comes another helicopter or something flying over me right now. Um, anyway, Rosemary. Rosemary's daughter. Hello. Um, Rosemary, as I was saying, is also good, um, good for your immune system. It helps boost your immune and circulatory systems. It's also good for hair and nails. So how can you go wrong? Um, now those are the essential oils you're going to need to make this. Um, another essential oil, uh, two essential oils that are always good to have on hand um, as well are tea tree oil. It's great for any kind of skin infection for wound care. It's got antiseptic properties in it. Another good thing to have is lemongrass. Um, just like lemon oil, it's good for muscle pain. It, it's good, great for killing bacteria. It's also good for your GI tract. Um, yeah, and in fact, I use those two things when you make natural cleaners. But anyway, back to the tea tree. Not the tea tree. See, there I go. Back to the thieves oil. Now, here is the recipe for thieves oil. Thieves oil. Um, this will make you a small batch, but it will go really, really far. Um, down below, I will also put um, recipes for making bigger batches. Just so you can have it on hand. Um, anyway, so... Here's the recipe to make thieves oil. You're going to need 40 drops of clove oil, 35 drops of lemon oil, 20 drops of eucalyptus oil. No, nope, that's wrong. 20 drops of cinnamon bark. Excuse me for that. 15 drops of eucalyptus oil and 10 drops of rosemary oil. Now, again, 40 drops of clove, clove oil, 35 drops of the lemon oil, 20 drops of cinnamon bark, 15 drops of eucalyptus oil, and 10 drops of rosemary oil. You combine all those, and that's that's how you get the thieves oil. That is that is a thieves oil blend, and that will help protect you. And oh, I just grabbed my paper. I did write some of this stuff down, just so I wouldn't forget, even though I know it. I've been using this stuff for the last couple of years, so I'm speaking from personal experience. This stuff is awesome. It's amazing. I swear. I mean, I highly believe it will help protect you and your family. Um, now, when you use this mixture in your diffuser, people use it differently. Um, you can always start at a very generic base of like how many drops in your diffuser at night and go from there. You can increase it or decrease it. I only just put about six drops in my diffuser at night. Now, my diffuser is a higher end diffuser. I don't really think it matters that much as far as price. They basically all do the same thing, but my diffuser um, goes on and off. It stays on like for 15 and turns off for 15 and it, it's got a really high capacity. Um, and I only put like six, seven drops in it at night and I let that go all night and it would stay on for about eight hours. Um, some people put more, some people put about 15 drops. Some people just do it at night. Some people do it at night and during the day. Some people do it several times a day. All that's very personal. But I would start with about 10 drops in your diffuser. And then I would adjust from there. See if it seems too powerful. Um, and you'll, you'll, you'll know. I mean, you'll, you'll kind of, if it's just like, well, really overbearing, then tone it down. If you, you know, if you think it's okay and you want to go up a couple drops, do that. Um, to make a spray, and this is a great spray that not only will help clean, but it will disinfect and help keep you safe. Um, you're going to want to do one part water, half a part distilled white vinegar, and for every ounce of liquid, you're going to put two drops of your tea tree, Not there I go again, not tea tree oil, two drops of your thieves oil Um in the mixture. Um, and excuse me if I said tea tree before and I was supposed to say thieves oil. For some reason I'm getting them mixed up in my brain right now. But anyway, so again, one part water, half a part distilled white vinegar, and two drops of thieves oil for every ounce. Um, now if you 
and that that's a great cleaner. That's like the antibacterial, keep you healthy. Now, if you just want like a light cleaner for really basic stuff, you can drop that down to just one drop for every ounce. You can also add an extra drop of lemon oil or lemongrass oil um, for every two ounces, just for an added uh, boost of cleaner and degreaser, that kind of thing. Um, it's not needed, but but you can. But that makes a great spray. Some hospitals even use um, thieves oil spray, um, just because it's it doesn't have all the nasty chemicals that other things have in it. Um, anyway, that's it. I am going to let you go. I hope that this was not too hard to follow. Um, I'm gonna put the recipes in the description for you, and if you're just watching this because it just got uploaded. Please give me a few minutes, um, and I'll add it to the description. Come back and check later, because my phone and internet's stupid. I can't do, like, a video and then edit it and then put it on YouTube. I have to go straight from my phone to YouTube, and then I have to go on by my computer and edit the description and anything I want to put in it afterwards. It's really idiotic, but that's the way I have to do it right now. Anyway, be safe, you guys. Peace. I love you all. That's half a heart. Just imagine the other half is yours. That sounded corny, but oh well. It's too late. I can't turn back the clock and unsay that. Peace.